This is Alicia Alt reporting from the International Stroke Conference in New Orleans. Anemia may triple the risk of death from stroke. Dr. Jason Seco and colleagues from Yale University and the VA Health System found that having a very low or very high hematocrit put stroke patients at a higher risk of death. Those with severe anemia had a two to three-fold higher risk of dying in the hospital or within a year after a hospitalization. Patients with the highest hematocrit had an almost three-fold higher risk of dying in the hospital. Dr. Seco explained why hematocrit might play a role in worsening mortality. So having a lower hematocrit is definitely more of a risk, and especially uh, the lower the hematocrit, the higher the risk, and the lower the hematocrit, the earlier after a stroke the risk happens. So if someone has severe anemia, that risk starts during the hospital period. If someone has mild to moderate anemia, the risk starts, uh, it becomes more of a, a, problem, a problem for mortality at six months and at a year. With anemia, you have a situation where you already have lower oxygen levels in the blood. And then you also have a situation where the, the blood vessels in the brain cannot respond appropriately to having a stroke. So the combination of the two could be pretty deleterious. Now with higher hematocrits, with different mechanisms that also decreases the amount of blood flow that goes to the brain. And that actually causes more turbulent blood flow in the brain. So that changes some of the dynamics. So if someone were to have a stroke and have a situation where they have less blood and the blood flow is not smooth, then that could also be another reason why they could be more predisposed to having bad outcomes. I asked Dr. Seco if he had any recommendations for clinicians in the community or in the hospital on how to handle stroke patients, especially those who may be prone to low or high hematocrits. Anemia does occur very commonly in older people as does stroke. And as people age, anemia becomes more common and having a stroke becomes more common. So being aware that if someone is a stroke survivor and they have anemia, looking for potentially reversible causes for it could be a huge, of huge importance. Oftentimes we take a lot of blood from patients when they're hospitalized and we know that, uh, well, it seems as if that hospital-acquired anemia, if you will, uh, may also be deleterious to patients that have had a stroke. Now, when it comes to blood transfusions, um, unfortunately, we don't have a really great answer for that. Mm -hmm.